Hey guys, it's Tanya. I am going to do another curriculum review. Um, we finished our science curriculum in April. Um, let me apologize if I sound funny or if I'm talking crazy or whatever. I recently got my Invisalign done. And so I'm still <laughs> trying to learn how to talk with these things in my mouth. So uh, I apologize in advance for that. So what we that. used for fifth grade this year was exploring creation with astronomy. With astronomy. And this is it. Um, it's by Apologia. Um, and I use this for her and I also um, would incorporate my younger students into this for some of the lessons but not all of the lessons. Um, we also use a co-op for this curriculum and so for those of you who are, uh, who are unfamiliar with a co-op, it's basically where your student goes to a school one day a week and they have a teacher and that teacher basically teaches um, the bulk of the lesson and then she will send home um, assignments for the rest of the week and so then you at home kind of help them complete those assignments and um, go kind of deeper into the lesson so we did use a co-op for this particular curriculum I did use it for my older son when he was homeschooled in sixth grade and I did it by myself so I've done both and I, <laughs> I must say I prefer to do it the co-op way but either way, um, I really enjoyed this curriculum. So just to kind of tell you some of the pros and cons, um, the pros of this curriculum is that if you um, have a student that is really interested in astronomy, this is a great curriculum because you can spend an entire year learning just about astronomy. And it was fascinating. I learned so much myself just doing this with her. I mean, it was absolutely fascinating. We loved it. Um, so one of the pros is that you can use this um, curriculum for an entire year. Um, the other pro about it is that it comes with a uh, notebook journal. So you do a lot of um, notebooking and lap booking. So I like that it's not your typical um, workbook, worksheet type homework assignments. It is um, almost set up like a scrapbook. For those of you who are familiar with lap booking, it's very similar to that or with notebooking, it is that. So it's a combination of notebooking and lap booking. So I really like that um, about it as well. Um, I like that it is uh, set up where it is very easy to follow as a parent or a teacher. It's very laid out for you. Um, it's not a lot of guesswork for you. It's, it's really laid out and structured. So I really like that. Um, it is a Christian-based um, science program. So if you are looking for something that is uh, Christian-based, this is definitely a science program that would work for you. They reference the Bible um, throughout the entire curriculum. So that kind of leads me to the cons because on the other hand, if you aren't, aren't interested in something that is Christian based or uh, Bible based, then this may or may not be the curriculum for you. Um, like any curriculum that's heavily based in um, the Bible, you can either skip over that or you can incorporate it into your lesson however you choose. That gives us an opportunity to talk about our beliefs, what other people believe, um, just different religions, whatever. So we always tend to um, incorporate um, that stuff into our lesson. Um, the other con, cons are there's a lot of reading and a lot of writing. With the reading, there's ways around that. There's times that we would read it together as a family and read out loud or I would read to her. Um, so that would give her some breaks with the reading. However, with the writing, there isn't, <laughs> I mean, it's not a way around the writing. It's part of the lessons and the assignments. So there is a lot of writing. So if your student does not care for writing, um, this may not be the curriculum for them. As far as reading, again, you can just read it to them if they are not a big reader. So there definitely is a way around that. Um, so those are the only cons that I can really think of with this particular lesson. So just to kind of show you a little bit of how it works, um, it is a total of, 
let me tell you here a total of 14 lessons um, so we started this in August and we finished in April and of course we had Thanksgiving Christmas uh, fall um, spring breaks so that kind of can give you an estimate of how long it will take you to do it but it's a total of 16 lessons and so if you're going to do this on your own in the very beginning of the book it basically gives you every single item that you are going to need to complete the projects that are in each lesson because each lesson has a project for you to do which is really cool so I would just start with show you that so it starts with lesson one which is the Sun or I'm sorry which is what is astronomy and it basically talks about astronomy what is astronomy um, why did God create the universe so forth and so on and so then at the end of each lesson it's going to tell you what to do in your notebook it's going to give you an assignment and you again you'll complete all of these assignments in your notebook and journal and it's also going to give you a project to do and these projects is what you will need you know the items that it listed in the beginning of the book because we did a co-op she completed most of her projects at her co-op so I didn't have to worry about that but if you're going to be doing this on your own my recommendation is when you're planning out your school year is to just go ahead and purchase every single thing that they've listed and that way you have them on hand in a designated area you don't get to a lesson and then realize oh I need balloons and we don't have any balloons you've already purchased everything so that would be my recommendation and so from there it goes to the Sun and again this is set up the exact same way um, talks about the Sun um, goes into all of that I mean it was y'all when I say this was fascinating it was really 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 fascinating um, and so then again at the very end it gives you what do you remember so this is like a chapter review and every lesson has a what do you remember and I'll show you that in a notebook as well then it gives you your assignment as well as your project and so again and that, that's every lesson and then from the Sun it starts with the planets that are closest to the Sun and then just works its way out from there and then the very last lesson is about space travel and so basically it talks about becoming an astronaut it talks about not uh, NASA um, what would you need to do to become an astronaut um, and all of that good stuff so that's how it wraps up and so we did this entire book and again we started in August finished in April so just to kind of show you the notebooking journal so the way in the notebooking journal every lesson um, has fascinating facts so basically from every lesson your student or child is going to write fascinating facts about that particular lesson um, so you know she wrote this is a picture of God and plants it's fascinating that God made things that we can eat she thought that was fascinating um, she put it was fascinating that God made earth in six days so she was really fascinated with all of that kind of stuff and then you also have the what do you remember so this is your chapter review and again every lesson is set up this way along with your assignment and then it has um, some copy work sometimes we would do the copy work sometimes we wouldn't so that's kind of up to you every lesson has a vocabulary crossword puzzle and then it has a place for your projects what you did and what you learned because she did her projects at the co-op we didn't do this part in her notebook and journal and then what's really cool is if you have a child that is super super interested it has um, taken further at the end of every single lesson which basically you can kind of dive in deeper and it gives you ideas of ways to take that particular lesson further so I really like that as well um, and so then I'll show you here so this is kind of some of the lap booking that she did um, there's another one that's kind of 
falling out. I don't want to lose any of her pieces. But yeah, so it, it kind of has that as well, the lap book. And here's another one. You guys can see that. And so um, I love this because it's kind of like a scrapbook. She kind of keeps this, will have this as a, um, you know, like a scrapbook, a, a kind of a reminder of everything that she learned in fifth grade science. And if she ever decides that she wants to go deeper into astronomy, she can always reference this. Um, she can also look back on just what she did in fifth grade. And so I think that it's really cool that it's not your traditional um, workbook. And again, it kept her engaged and excited. Now, I will say she complained that it was a lot of work because it is a lot of writing. And so that part she did not like about it. But other than that, the projects, what we learned, I mean, it was absolutely fascinating I mean we learned so much and she really did love that and just to show you how she much she retained at the very end is kind of a um, final exam so it's your final review and so I'll show you that and that's at the very end of the notebook and journal and it is a total of 50 questions and so you can see here that she has mostly all of that filled out she has mostly all of that answered. And then she has a few here that she didn't, she couldn't remember. And that's it. So the fact that she retained so much of the information was also amazing to me. And I love that, that she will forever kind of retain this information about astronomy, things that I didn't learn um, going to public school. So that to me was also a joy and a blessing in doing this particular curriculum. So again, um, it's called Exploring Creation with Astronomy and they do, this is the junior notebook and journal, they do have one for older students and then for my younger students when I would include them, I would just ask them questions from the book. I wouldn't, you know, give them anything to write or anything like that. And again, we started this in fifth grade, so um, I think you can probably even start in fourth grade with this particular lesson. And then my older son, we did it in sixth grade. So, but I do, I personally believe that a fourth grader who is really interested in astronomy, see there I go again. <laughs> I get all this like ugh, saliva in my mouth, so I'm still trying to learn how to manage that. But anyway, um, a fourth grader who is really interested in astronomy would really appreciate this particular curriculum. They also have Exploring Creation with Anatomy and I think that we're going to do that next year for sixth grade because I really like this um, apology and I like how it's set up and so I would highly recommend this to anybody that is interested in learning about astronomy. So again, here it is. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, if you've used this and want to add something, feel free to do so. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to chatting with you guys again. Talk to you soon. Bye.